Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough after putting the stone crystal of squareness in the pedestal this opened up we can now go through here and face the Octorok storm now this is a place for the bow definitely uh, because you got your long range stuff it's mainly for oh, I can't hit that one at this angle it's mainly for those ones over on the sides because these you know you can, you can hit them with your sword all day it's the ones that are shooting stones all the way over on the other side that are gonna cause you ire left and right unless you use your newfangled bow that we got in the last parts oh yeah a bridge <laughs> Alright, let's not fall in. And how's it going there? <laughs> I think there's a chest here, here, and uh, here. So there's three on this floor. Yes, okay. So I'm not going to waste my rupees like I did on the last part, <laughs> stupidly. And oh, I'm getting on that right away because I do not want to wait any longer than I need to. Oh, shoot! I thought it was going to be close enough. <laughs> Dang, keys. Uh, boopers. And now I'm waiting because I got impatience. And obviously, we got to shoot some eyes along the way, so. Oh, I, th I touched that. <laughs> I swear I touched that. Anyway, let's get on here. And. Yo! And there's also another one right in the middle of. Oh, it's not in the. Oh! It's not right in the middle, it's on the right edge. I thought it was in the middle. Well, I remembered wrong, but I remembered where it was in terms of between the pillars. Okay, Keese, you are being a pain, but I can deal with that. I've dealt with worse. I've read YouTube comments. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And no, oh, 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 ho, ho. Yes, the power gem. Another one. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not going to wait again. I am getting too impatient for these shenanigans. <laughs> uh, you hear some blade traps hanging around there. And... Mm. <laughs> wait, actually, do I need to kill you? I don't remember if I need to kill you for something. I'm just going to do that just to be oof, just to be safe. And you know what? Because I'm I'm being oof, I'm being a derp -a derp. I'm going to drink this potion. <laughs> Yeah, drink that potion. And I'm moving on. Oh, Beemos. Uh, I don't think I need to push that block down there really to get through this, really. It's just a matter of bombing the thing below that and timing myself well here. Oh! What happened? What, what happened? I'm just a magnet to holes in this walkthrough, I swear. That's what happened. Alright, so now I'm going to wait for that other blade to come through here. Now what you're supposed to do really is grab this and then move it up so you have a free space. But I find it just easier to do this. Because you don't have to do the whole rigmarole with... Yeah, see how much room, more room you have just running for it? <laughs> anyway, there's the chest. Go on, Amber. Heck yeah. And now... We're going to the next floor. <laughs> I do like those apples. Um, I definitely need to time myself to get through here, but I don't remember when... Okay, I can do it there. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember when I should make the dash for it. I guess that was when. Okay, so this opens up another shortcut. As I said in the last part, there's a lot of shortcuts in this place. Especially in this, uh, make this first floor area here. And now we got waiting. Oh, yes, we've got waiting. Um, oh wait, I should just get this out ahead of time. I need the boomerang for something, something for these torches here. I don't know if I can do it from over here, but maybe I can get at least some of these. Uh, let's see how many I can get from this side. I can get four of them, I think. Yeah, that'll make things a little easier. I don't think they blow out, but if they do, I'll be sad face. <laughs> Alright, let's get on here and get our boomerang set to... Did I get all those? I think I got, yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Now I need the, the arrows. Well, specifically the bow. And I am going to do a sort of kind of puzzle here. Oh wait, actually, I think I need the the boomerang before the arrows still. Uh, because yeah, that's facing the wrong way. I need this to be facing up, if I remember. So I need to flip this around a few times. That should do it. So we switch. And there we go. Up. 
And around! <laughs> I don't think that's possible to hit from the other side because the pillars get in your way, but I may be wrong about that. There's a wisdom gem! Oh yeah! And now, for the other puzzle of this area, I need to boomerang it up again. And maybe I should have did this first because it was going in that direction, but eh, whatever. Because, you know, it rotates clockwise. We do it like that, and remember that switch in the middle? You guessed it! Boop! <laughs> Yuppers, that's how you get forward from here. Now, we got ourselves a rather interesting one here. Uh, well, not quite here yet. Oh, oh, I need to have my finger on the hotkey. Microphone. Oh, shoot, I forgot to actually show how many hits they take normally. Well, <laughs> too late now. Well, anyway, they take like 20 hits to defeat normally with your sword or bombs or whatever the heck you want to use on them. So, maybe that's just for the best that I forgot to show how many hits they take, because it's just better to blow in your microphone and then just take them out like that. It just plain is better. <laughs> and move the floating platform where you want, draw a path on your map. If it's moving on a path you don't like, simply redraw the path. So, here we are. Whoa! It's not moving. It's not moving. But, it will be moving. Because watch this. We actually get to doodle our own path. And we gotta doodle our, Oh, that's kind of in our way. Up, down, right, left is what I gotta remember you. I don't feel like redrawing it, because this is the last puzzle of the dungeon. So here we go. And I need to do is go up, right up to there, and then go down around here, in front, and then right in front of that, because there's always an eye in front of a pillar, basically. It's, ne it's not, never on the side or anything like that, it's always on the front of it. So you always got to loop in front of the pillars when you go around here. So yeah, we're waiting. It, it, it actually, it really truly does follow the path that you draw on the map. This is pretty cool, but it's still a waiting game. <laughs> and, oh, whoa, 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 hold on a sec. Hold on a sec there. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> Went in the wrong direction. Okay, I'm gonna go a little wider this time and loop around thusly and go. What was that mark on my cursor? What was that blasphemy? Anyway, that's good. <laughs> as long as it goes back the other way, yes, and does not hit the pillar, yes. To remember up, down, right, left, up, down, right, left, up, down. Right, left, is the order of the dungeon. <laughs> the whole dungeon's puzzles. There's really only two puzzles that deal with this, though. Oh, whoa, whoa. why again, though? Why? Why again? <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm gonna try and join these two, so I don't have to redraw everything. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, will it work? It looks like it's gonna work, because they're touching. But will it actually work? Probably. I think it will. Just follows whatever black lines are doodled on the map. <laughs> Alright. Can I get this from a distance so I don't have to go all the way over there? Yes, I can. Because that's a little bit faster. <laughs> Alright, so then I can get rid of these shenanigans. And then just draw a straight line over to that chest. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like those apples. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He 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 he! Hoo 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 hoo! I'm just... Oh, I, I don't know, I'm making up all sorts of labs as I go. Uh, you know, I could have f fell in the pit and that would have worked just fine too, I just realized. But whatever, I got the boss key! And now, what I'm gonna do here... Let's get on that. I guess... Um, let's make it a little bit tighter. A little more strategic in my movements here. No, I mean, it's a little too tight to the edge. A little bit more... Okay, that's good. Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops there. Let's see if that works. And now do not touch anything, otherwise you might accidentally drop the key in the pit and it'll respawn up there, so you don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Especially since this takes long enough as it is. Please don't loop around when you get to that overlap there block. I would very much appreciate that. Can I go? Oh, you suck, PK Gam. You suck. <laughs> but yeah, you see what you gotta do here, so I'm just gonna cut ahead this time. And that's what you get for being impatient. 
<laughs> so uh, that tablet will give you a hint about that puzzle we just did over here. So uh, we're kind of done with this. <laughs> yeah, I cleared out everything this time. Didn't miss a secret room. Ponder the Grand Order of the whole temple and your path will become clear. That's what we doodled on the map. So remember, just for the road. Up, down, right, left. Even though I said I wasn't going to do that again. Just remember that and all will be well. Ooh. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I still got to get here and it's pretty obvious. Look at the map on the top screen. <laughs> Whoops, whoops, whoops. Miss touch, miss touch, miss touch. I think that's something important too for my 100%ing streak. And obviously, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> uh, but I will need the bow out for the upcoming boss, which is going to be pretty nice. Hey there. It's a courage jam. Oh, yeah. And that's the last thing in the dungeon. It is 100%ed. Let you up to the top floor. No, that's a fancy door. <laughs> Behold the boss. And it's got its eyes fixated on me. It's great bane of courage. Oh no. And this is what you need the bow for. See on the top screen, look at that. You can actually see where it's facing. Since it goes invisible, this is pretty vital. <laughs> And you got the little critters hanging around here as well. It's probably going to be more dangerous than the actual boss itself, but that's often how it is with bosses, isn't it? So when it's facing you, shoot an arrow towards it and... Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. When it's, when it's coming towards you, you want to shoot its face. And that's what you use the top screen for, is to... Is to pay attention to where that stinker is around the map. And where it's facing. So I'm just going to... Wait over here. I think it, well, he's going around the perimeter here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hell. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, just waiting this out here. Everything's, everything's okay. He's just gonna wait it out. Just gotta wait for him. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is this accurate? Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, 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 oh. shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, I'm watching the top screen more than anything there. Now, what you gotta do is hit those purple things on his body with your sword. Ah, ee, ah. Ow, oh, poopers. <laughs> close range it's deadly and it's not gonna be happy because its shell goes away <laughs> and now another thing to use our bow and arrows for stun it and then start hitting its tail weakness yeah but don't hit it too many times though because it'll turn around and grab you just like it does when it's invisible and then you will not be happy <laughs> all right all right mm-hmm Oop. Going around, going around, and also always be aware of the other little hermit crabs roaming around here. Whoops! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My stylus slid off the tablet. That is okay, though. You have recovered nicely. <laughs> I got enough health to deal with that. Uh, yeah, I always like to use my ar arrows there because it's a little bit more swift than anything else. And ah. Oh! I win. <laughs> it's a really easy boss, but it's pretty creative and fun. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Victory is Justin's. Eh, I guess maybe I could have did this dungeon in one part, but yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> I think that would have been a, another pretty long part of like over 30 minutes, <laughs> so maybe not, I don't know. I'm kind of kind of iffy of making parts too long, in all honesty. Oh, 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 oh! Not that I have anything against things being like making something that's long, but it's just a thing of that. Uh, I know people don't have the time to watch half-hour videos every day. You got more sand for the fat them hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Woo! And now the final spirits is ours to befriend and it's purple like usual until it transforms into its fairyish form woohoo oh it's doing it it's doing it it's doing it yeah wait this, is, this looks really familiar you look just like me what happened something seems weird 
Yes, does look like Sila. Huh, huh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they all are different colors, and this one's the same color as Sila, and... Yeah, look at Link's face. <laughs> and then it's like... Huh? <laughs> Something's odd. But you got the spirit of courage, I guess. Maybe you, now you can find the ghost ship? Hmm. 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 Well, one thing I know is for sure, this dungeon is complete. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's probably going to be something that I missed. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> like the last dungeon that I was joking about. Alright. Uh, heart container. Done. No more waiting around that this dungeon made me do a whole lot. We are out of here. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.